The air crackled with anticipation, a tangible buzz that seemed to electrify everyone present. The Superbloom Festival in Munich was electric, a pulsating heart of music and energy. All eyes were on the stage. Well, one stage in particular, where the magic was about to unfold. The twin stages were set up for a night of non-stop music, each promising a unique experience. But it was the left stage that held a special allure, drawing the most fervent fans. That's where Tokyo Hotel would soon ignite the night, their presence already felt in the air. Fans had flocked from all corners of the globe, united by their love for the band. They came to witness a band that had defined their youth, a band that had been the soundtrack to their lives. Tokyo Hotel was more than just a band. They were a phenomenon, a cultural touchstone for many. Their music had soundtracked first loves, teenage angst and everything in between, creating memories that would last a lifetime. Tonight, they were back in Germany, ready to reconnect with their devoted fans, ready to create new memories. As the sun began its descent, casting long shadows across the Olympia Park, the energy was palpable, almost overwhelming. You could feel the excitement building, a crescendo of emotions ready to burst. The crowd pulsed with a nervous energy, a collective heartbeat of anticipation. It was like waiting for the first drop on a roller coaster, a thrilling moment suspended in time. DJ David Puentes took to the decks, ready to ignite the night. His mission? Amplify the already electric atmosphere and take it to new heights. And boy, did he deliver with every beat and every drop. Puentes spun a set list of high energy bangers, each track more electrifying than the last. The crowd ate it up, dancing and singing along with an almost frantic energy lost in the music. Every beat from the speakers seemed to reverberate through the ground, shaking the very core of the venue. You could feel it in your chest, a powerful thump that connected everyone. The music was infectious, impossible to resist, spreading joy and energy. Puentes expertly blended genres and tempos, keeping the crowd on their toes and guessing what would come next. The energy in the air continued to climb, reaching new peaks with every track. It was as if Puentes was conducting a symphony of excitement, each movement precise and powerful. Each song was another crescendo, pushing the crowd closer to a fever pitch, their excitement palpable. The anticipation for Tokyo Hotel was reaching a boiling point, the crowd buzzing with excitement. All eyes were drawn to the left stage where the magic was about to unfold. A massive curtain, almost theatrical in its presentation, shrouded the stage in mystery, adding an air of grandeur. It only served to heighten the anticipation, making hearts race and imaginations run wild. What secrets lay behind that curtain? What wonders were waiting to be revealed? What spectacle awaited the eager audience? The possibilities seemed endless. Whispers and excited chatter rippled through the crowd, each person sharing their own predictions. Theories abounded about what surprises Tokyo Hotel might have in store, fueling the excitement. Would they open with a classic hit that everyone knew and loved? Or would they debut a brand new song, one that no one had heard before? The suspense was agonizingly delicious a sweet torture that kept everyone on edge. Time seemed to slow to a crawl, each second stretching out longer than the last. Every minute felt like an eternity, the wait almost unbearable. The crowd chanted, Tokyo Hotel, Tokyo Hotel, their voices growing louder with each repetition. The rhythmic chant echoed through the festival grounds, a testament to the band's enduring power over their fans, a power that transcended time and space. 
then it happened. The music stopped. A hush fell over the crowd. The air crackled with anticipation. For a heartbeat, there was silence. Then the curtain dropped. Tokyo Hotel exploded onto the stage. The crowd erupted. It was deafening. A roar of pure joy, excitement and adoration. Bill Corlitz, the band's charismatic frontman, commanded the stage with his signature energy. The band launched into a blistering opening number. The crowd went wild, jumping, dancing and singing along with every word. It was a sea of bodies moving in unison, united by their love for the band. Section 5. Through the years. Tokyo Hotel's set list was a masterclass in fan service. They weaved seamlessly between their biggest hits and tracks from their latest album. It was a musical journey through their career, showcasing their evolution as artists, while still staying true to their roots. From the anthemic energy of Monsoon to the haunting melodies of Dursch Den Monsoon, Tokyo Hotel had the crowd in the palm of their hands. Each song was met with a tidal wave of cheers and sing-alongs. Bill Carlitz was a force of nature. His voice, as powerful as ever, soared over the heavy instrumentals. He danced and strutted across the stage, captivating the audience with his every move. Section 6 Screaming the lyrics the crowd sang along to every word. It was as if they had been waiting a lifetime to scream these lyrics at the top of their lungs. For many, these songs were more than just music. They were the soundtrack to their lives. The band fed off the crowd's energy, delivering a performance filled with raw passion and emotion. It was a powerful reminder of the unique bond between Tokyo Hotel and their fans. From the front row to the very back, the crowd was united. Age, nationality, background, none of it mattered. In that moment, they were all just fans, sharing in the magic of a Tokyo Hotel concert. The music washed over the audience. It was an immersive experience. The driving guitars, the pounding drums, Bill's soaring vocals, it all combined to create an atmosphere of pure ecstasy. For those few hours, nothing else mattered. The outside world faded away. There was only the music, the band, and the thousands of fans who had come together to celebrate it all. You could feel the love in the air. Love for the music, love for the band, and love for the community that had formed around it all. It was a powerful reminder of the unifying power of music The final notes of the set rang out. The crowd went wild, demanding more. Tokyo Hotel didn't disappoint. They returned to the stage for an encore that was as explosive as the rest of their performance. They ended the night with a triumphant rendition of Rette Mich, one of their most beloved songs. The crowd sang along with such fervor, it felt like the entire city of Munich could hear them. As the final chords faded, confetti rained down on the exhausted but exhilarated crowd. Tokyo Hotel took a final bow, their faces lit up by the stage lights and the adoration of their fans. Tokyo Hotel's performance was more than just a concert. It was a cultural moment. It was a testament to the band's enduring popularity and their ability to connect with fans across generations. For the Super Bloom Festival, it was a major coup. Booking Tokyo Hotel was a statement, solidifying the festival's reputation as a must-attend event on the European music calendar. The night belonged to Tokyo Hotel. They proved that even after all these years, they still had the power to captivate an audience and leave them wanting more. 
As the crowd slowly made their way out of the festival grounds, you could still hear snippets of Tokyo Hotel songs being sung. The band's music lingered in the air, a reminder of the incredible show that had just transpired. Tokyo Hotel had once again proven why they are one of the most exciting and enduring bands of their generation. Their Super Bloom performance was a night for the history books, a night that will be talked about for years to come. One thing was certain, Tokyo Hotel's music and the passion it ignites will continue to resonate with fans for a long, 